This is Apostle Tanya. Most marvelously, we have the blessed honor in this generation to declare our love for our blessed master. And surely, I am most grateful to serve together with you to exalt our holy Lord and remindeth the enemy. The earth is thy Lord's and the fullness thereof. Through the revelatory teachings taught by the Spirit of God through me and the most glorious supernatural fun experiences that I have spent in the blessed presence of the Master. I pray that you shall be most encouraged and equipped listening to holy podcasts. <laughs> I am most surely honored to have you a part of the family. And how marvelously does the Spirit of God lead us into this intimacy. The Comforter may lead us as we are communing with him, reading the Holy Bible in praise and worship or dancing for thy Lord. These acts of worship will open our hearts and cause a sensitivity in our spirit to hear God's still small voice. It is in our intimacy with thy Lord God that he is faithful to speak to his children, the apple of his eyes. Oft times, my brethren desire to know how may you enter into a realm with thy Lord in consecration and devotion, whereby you forsake your father, mother, and children. I may answer that it is by thy Lord's grace and his love that he has given to us for him. As it is written in the book of the first epistle of John, chapter 4, verse 19, we love him because he first loved us. Beloved. This love given to us for the Lord must continue to burn in our hearts for him. If the Father bestow the blessings of a marriage union to you, you must continue to love the Lord more than these. The love for thy Lord in our hearts is to remain as pure, and reserve for him alone. Let us read Psalms 23, verse 3 through 4. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Amen? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oft times the book of the prophet Isaiah is our reference to study and understand the character of our Father God. Yet most often, I am led by the Holy Spirit to rest in him and read about the cross. 
every blessed time I open the pages of the Holy Bible, it is with expectation that I shall 